Hey everybody, I'm gonna let some light in. Let the sun shine, let the sun shine in the sun shining. Everyone, I just wanted to check in and say hello, see how all of you are doing as we are just isolating, social distancing, locking down. Enjoying some just fresh air. Y'all, I've been, something I've been going and doing is just going on walks, which, I mean, I will do like every now and then, but I've been doing it more often, which has been pretty nice. So, uh, it's been really helpful to me, actually. Just, it's like, oh yeah, there are trees and greenery and birds chirping and mosquitoes biting and bugs <laughs> and just, it's just I forget that there's there's an outside and the sun shining and all that jazz you know as we are going through all this lockdown so um just uh one of those that's one of the things I've done I thought I would be cooking my own food more which I guess I kind of have I've gotten like foods that are in like packets. Let me see if I've got one. And so just I like like this. Like you just put it in a in a it says to stove top. You place the sealed pouch in boiling water for five minutes, and then you pour into a dish. And so I've been I've eaten stuff like that as well. I can't say I've gotten any more creative or better with my uh, cooking other than that. But, uh, you know, I'm just saying. So, while we are here, thanks for joining. Uh, someone said, you didn't tell us. Well, yeah, I, it's been, I just decided. Boom. Gotcha. No. Uh, if, if there are any questions, anyone would like to ask da 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 any dream will do uh, I didn't know if, if y'all saw how do I put this so that it's a Q&A okay. would y'all teach me how this goes let's see how do we do this I've seen that some people have like a Q&A like they put it as a Q&A and uh I'm not sure how to do that. Wait, what is this? So I'm trying to. David cooking sounds so interesting. <laughs> it's not. It's not that interesting, and it's. I I think the biggest problem is I have a hard time focusing long enough to follow instructions, unless I'm like with someone following. Let me see here though. Oh. Okay, does any does anyone know how I switch this to a Q and A, and then we can have a little Q and A here. Let's see, what are y'all saying? Do you miss going, okay, I'll start by just some of the questions y'all have asked here. First, this one's easy. Favorite kind of pie by Katie Seven. I like pumpkin pie. That's one I like. Uh, do you miss, this is from Sports for Fun, do you miss going on tour? Are you creating any new songs? So, yes, I, you know, I was supposed to be on tour right now for the next month and a half. And uh, so when that was, you, you know, everything stopped in the name of COVID-19, um, I've been trying to figure out, okay, so now I've got time. I'm like, oh, maybe I'm gonna write some songs now. I, I haven't done that to be honest. <laughs> but I have been learning a couple songs on the piano. I've, I've played some of them on my Instagram that you can see. And uh, I've, I have started a couple of new song ideas, but man, y'all, I just have not been in the mood to write new songs. I've tried, I've, I've recorded an idea this morning. Other than that, I mean, and there's a couple of other things, but other, for the most part, I've so not been in a writing mood. Is that weird? Because I see all these other people like on their Instagram live saying like, oh yeah, I'm, it's a great time. I'm coming up with all these songwriting and, and new song ideas. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like okay yeah I'm gonna be like that and I, I haven't been like that I'm just like whoosh David's creativity is gone out the window but um 
I've otherwise, I've just taken a day at a time, just trying to find myself, go on my walks, learn some songs on the piano, uh, working through some of the master final e edits of my new songs, figuring out when I'm going to release that now that everything has changed and been adjusted. But yes, just one step at a time. Like Jordan Sparks has said, no need to rush. It's like learning to fly or falling in love. Uh, then there was someone I'm going through a breakup. I'm sorry to hear that. Breakups, breaking up is hard to do. Was that a Neil Sedaka song? It is not an easy thing to go through breakups. I feel you there. And I wish you all the best on the on the breakup. It's it, it's just, you have to accept that it's going to go through some pain. <laughs> but some good songs, good songs can come out of those strong emotions. Like sadness or like just... <laughs> When you have so much emotion built inside of you, you have to let out somewhere. And, and usually that's when songs start coming out. Maybe I need to go through a breakup. I haven't been in one in a while. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see here. Any more songs coming out soon from Philly, uh, Phyllis? I think is how you say the name. Phyllis Hattie. Uh, P-H-I-L-I-S-H-A-T-E-E. -E. Yes. Ooh. And I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited to show you some of the new songs. I wish I could. Someday. Oh, maybe I should save it. Man, I'm, I'm just, I am excited for some of the songs, y'all. Give up. Oh, and I feel like it's uh, the songs that I've written. Be with everything going on, I feel like I'm just so excited to get it out because I feel like it'll be really helpful. You know, I released OK All Right just recently, and it's been awesome. I've been reposting some of the things y'all have shown with how you're reacting to the song and singing along, or your kids are singing along, or whatever, the TikTok dance videos, or your covers. It's It's been fun to see y'all enjoying that song. I'm like so excited to get the rest of the stuff out to you because... um. It's just uh, about looking about, for, oh, I don't know if I should say anything or if I should say that, surprise you, or I don't know, not surprise you, but uh, get a better time up. But anyway, it's just basically the songs are about this, the, the next project that I'm going to release that I was going to release. Now I need to readjust a little bit when it comes out, um, but it will be coming out soon. All these songs are about how to get through when you are just feeling cluttered, you're feeling jumbled, you're feeling flustered, and just like not sure how to get through life. And when you get curveballs thrown at you and you're just like, what do I do? So it's uh, how to handle when life gets tough is the kind of stuff or, and basically a lot of the songs are, on, are honestly saying, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to get through this. But as I like, as I'm writing, like we're writing the song, it starts by saying, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. But by the end of the song, it's kind of like, you know what? But I think I'm going to be okay. I'm going to make, but you know what? I'm feeling, I'm feeling something guiding me. I feel something to say, hey, keep moving forward. So I, I'm i so excited for y'all to hear this stuff. Sorry, I got super sad, distracted. But the, thanks for those questions. Let's see. Um, okay, I'm going to try and pull up the, the question and answer thing. Oh, man. Sorry, I'm behind. Yeah, yeah. Anna, hey, Anna. My friend Anna. Uh, is here with us. Let's see here. Saludos desde Honduras. Mis hondureños, mis catrachos. Yeah, my mom is from Honduras. I am half of the Honduran blood in me. And I love that side of my my roots. Okay, so, wow. Uh, let's just go to the Q&A here. What is your favorite food... Oh, is this how, that's how we do it. Okay. What is your favorite food to cook? Eggs. I love eggs and they're very easy to make. So it's just a win-win for David. 
So that is my favorite. Okay. Um, let's see. Janelle asked, where are you from? Janelle, I am from Utah. I grew up in Utah. Originally, though, I'm from Miami, Florida. I was born in Miami, lived there till kindergarten. And yeah, that's about, that's, that's where I'm from. But now I live in Tennessee, where I'm in isolation. <laughs> King of, uh, what is it called? The son of isolation. And it looks like I'm the king. The wind and... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do, 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 do. Okay, next question. Okay, Drum Murray, Muriel asked, where in Chile did you serve your mission? Uh, Drummer Muriel, I served my mission in, Ch in Rancagua. I lived in, so I was in Chile for two years as a missionary for my church, Church of Jesus Christ, Latter-day Saints. And I lived in Rancagua. I lived in San Vicente de Tawatawa. I lived in Machali, Graneros, and Paine. I miss Chile so much, y'all. I... Si vas para Chile, te ruego que pases por donde vive mi amada. All of the Chileans are my amados right now, though. I mean, I miss them. Okay, let's see here. Are you left-handed? Monte Sage. Sage? I don't know. S A G J E asked. I am. I'm left-handed. Ooh, ooh. Southpaw. So, okay. So, if y'all are wondering how I'm getting these questions, there's, if you look at the bottom, there's this question mark down there next to the, the message send and the comment. That's where I'm getting these Q&A questions. And sorry, there are a bunch of them. So I'm just kind of like scrolling and then like, if something catches my eye, I pause. Oh, let's, oh, I, I should have read that. Did you know that your awkwardness is so inspiring? I never thought my awkwardness would be surprise inspiring. But I, if it is, I, I would love to know how because <laughs> that, that, that is, I'm flattered. But I would love to know what you, I would love for to have, for you to elaborate on that. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, let's let's see this one. Well, listen, have you been watching American Idol lately? You know, I've seen a couple of clips, but that is that is all I have seen so far. So I I've really. And it's it's fun. I, I'm not going to lie. I get anxiety watching that show just because I don't know why. It's, I think just from the experience I had and everything, it's... Uh, oh, I did see it. Sorry, another question. What does your hat say? I happen to see. It says Brixton. But anyway, uh, it's a Brixton hat. But um, I... It's like I love the show. It's... I've watched from the very first season with Kelly Clarkson and Tamara, Tamara Gray, Justin Guarini, uh, all those folks. But when I, when I went on it, there's so much pressure that I don't know how to explain it. It is so different from any other pressure I've received because even being in the spotlight and being an artist and doing shows and doing these, I don't know, and working on projects and doing other events and going to school or being a missionary and just all these other things that can bring pressure in your life. There's just something different about the American Idol pressure where you have millions of people. And it's weird because it's not even a negative thing. Most part, people are very positive about you. But there's something I can't describe about the pressure that puts it puts on you. That I haven't... I've, you know, the 29 years I've been, I think there's a question asking how old I am. I'm 29. The 29 years I've lived my life, there's just nothing I can compare that to. 
And, you know, life does put you in pressure and all kinds of things. But for some reason, it was just something I still just get a little like, whoo, man, I I don't know what it is. It's just, I think just not knowing what's going to happen with your life. And every day is, it's just increasingly changing so rapidly. There's a dent from this hat I'm wearing, but, um, there's, but at the same time, it's, I, I love to see the other contestants on the show because I'm like, I know what you're going through. I know what it's like to be able to feel this connection with so many people suddenly that you didn't have before singing a song and and being able to let people just participate in your love of singing and music and the gift that you feel in your life. It's it's just, it's such a of like, wow. Like, I don't know if a love hate relationship is the right word, but um, there's just a polar, like a, two poles of emotions that are going on at the same time. But anyway, that's, I don't know if I did a good job explaining that, but. Thank you for your question. Um, la da 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 da. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's get another question here. Oh, this is a good one. Favorite Selena song. Amor prohibido. Nos uh, murmuran por las calles Porque somos de distintas sociedades Amor prohibido nos dice todo el mundo El dinero no importa en ti ni en mí Ni en el corazón Oh, oh, baby I love that song. Y'all, I grew up on Selena. My mom, even, she's Tex-Mex, but I think everyone in Latin culture loves Selena. My mom grew up. I grew up listening to my mom listen to Selena. One of the very first songs I learned as a seven-year-old um, was Como La Flor. Uh, Como La Flor, con tanto amor, me diste tú. Se marchito, me marcho y yo sé perder, pero ay, como me duele, ay, como me duele. What's another one? Ah, es que un toro. Entra de largo, esconde detrás las trancas, chaquita, que viene bravo, y aviénteme tu rebozo, mi vida. Oh, what are the words? Ta-na-na-na-na, toro, 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 relajo. So I'm not, I'm, I'm messing up all the words. Give me da, 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 Loves, I love me some Selena. Selena Quintanilla. <clears throat> Ooh. What is your favorite Bible verse? Y'all, I love me. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord and lean not on thine own understanding. Acknowledge him. Oh, blanked. Basically, acknowledge him in all thy ways and he shall direct thy paths. Love me that verse. Because I, it, it kind of goes with this one too, Second Corinthians. Walk by faith, not by sight. Where you can't see what's ahead. And that's where you got to trust. Where it reminds me of the song I wrote, which was, I'm ready. I'm, well, let me see. Where am I? I'm ready for a change I'm not afraid to lose and leave it all behind yeah. And I know that I can't see around the bend But if I let you in, I know I'll be alright oh, 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 I keep going and going 
Even if they all stop, I keep going. Doesn't matter who's watching now. Either way, sorry, my piano's so out of tune right now. But I only got one left to live. Yeah, I only got one left to give. And I know it's gonna change the ending. No, I'm ready. All right. Yes, I wrote that song basically about about that. So. Let's take another question here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Who are your musical inspirations? So, let me think here. Some of my musical inspirations have been... Who? I mean, Michael Jackson was... His music was so just boom. Just... So, I don't know what it is that strikes, strikes a chord with so many people. I just, boom, his music. Uh, another person, Stevie Wonder. Speaking of those two, the, um, they did We Are the World. When, I, when they did We Are the World, oh my goodness. I just, that's when I just like really became a Stevie Wonder fan when I was 10 years old. Uh, I remembered his, we are the world, we are the chip. We are the children. We are the ones who make a brighter day. So let's start giving. There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. Man, that's hot. It's true we make a better day. Oh, shoot. It's true we make a better day. Just you and me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I just love that part. It was easier for me to sing as a 10 year old up there, but I, I sure, I love that song. Love that. I feel like it's a good song for even to net right now. Anyway, let me, let, oh, uh, other musical inspirations. You know, Natasha Bedingfield was such like a op eye opener for me because I was like, wait a second, you can have, you can be a white person and love soul music and be awkward though at the same time. Like seeing with soul about having ADD and and um, being positive. Like you can make pop music that isn't all about relationships. You can. I was just like, no. I was. I was like, there's a place for me. <laughs> there's a place for me in this music world. So she was a huge influence on me. Um, who else? Kirk Franklin was another one just about being vulnerable spiritually and making just some good sounding music that it, you can focus on God. Awesome stuff. So, um, let's see some more questions. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me now that I can dance? Watch me now. Oh, whoa. Um, if I, you know, I'm, I, I don't know if I know you, Magdali, but I love you as a fellow stranger, uh, sister in of my my heavenly father we're all children of god so i love you in that way um do you let me see y'all okay there's a lot of questions here let me see here oh how's quarantine here's one alicia has asked how's quarantine it's been it's been a learning experience because as i mentioned earlier Y'all, I'm supposed to be on tour right now. I was going to be doing shows, sharing some new songs. And uh, since that has been put on hold, like most, a lot of things in our life, I've been trying to find how to be productive, which is hard. Especially when it's like, well, let me see what's on my phone. Let me see. And you sort of start scrolling on social media or on YouTube and go into the deep hole of YouTube and recommendations of YouTube and all that stuff. Whew. You just get confused, yo. You know, so I just, 
Some days you can wonder what this love's all about. Uh, so, but it's going well. I'm, I'm learning, taking it a day at a time, going on walks, learning some songs. Um, and still, you know, I just had a song come out. Okay, all right. So I've been, I was supposed to do some promotion on that, but it's been a little, it's been delayed, held off, but still, uh, it's been fun. I've been sharing what y'all uh, thought about the song, sharing clips of that, doing my own style of promotion as best as I can with my team and I doing that. So, oh, someone just said, let me see, I'm looking at some of the things here. What's your favorite Christian song? Oh, what is my favorite Christian song? My favorite song, period, is Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. Love that song. The words. Oh, just so good. You know, um, just Jesus sought me when a stranger wandering from the fold of God. He to rescue me from, from danger interposed his precious blood. Prone to wander, Lord, I feel it. Prone to leave the God I love. Oh my gosh. Here's my heart. Take and seal it. Seal it for thy courts above. So good. Jordan. <laughs> I see Jordan. Oh, Hills and Valleys is a good one too. On the mountains I would bow my life to the one who set me there. Jordan, you should come up and sing with me like I joined on yours. If you want to, you should. <laughs> I was born by the river in a little town. I just saw someone say change is coming. But I know. Okay, another person said Oceans. Oceans is such a good song, too. That would be a good one to learn. Jordan, do you want to join me? We should sing something because I was I was joining hers. She was playing a lot of her. Uh, she was playing her uh, sophomore album, I believe, and she was playing Battlefield. Why did love always feel like a battlefield? A battlefield, a battlefield. Better go and get your armor. Get your armor. He's low down. It's okay. If she might be busy, she doesn't want to join. It's okay. But um, uh, next time, Jordan, if you are around, let's sing a song. You're the piano man. The last time Jordan and I sang was like 10 years ago. I don't know if you remember that, Jordan, but it's been too long. We need to sing again. <laughs> it was, she She was doing a, a charity event and uh, we sang, she had me Sing No Air With Her, which is so awesome. What a great song that is, y'all. If I should die before I wake, it's cause you took your breath away. Then you was like living in a world with no air. Okay, um, I can't, this isn't working for me now, suddenly. Let me see, what is going on here? Oops. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Y'all, this might be the sign that this is coming to an end <laughs> because I can't figure out my phone. <laughs> uh, well, hmm. Y'all, thank you for your questions. Let's do this again. And, uh, soy un hijo, someone just said, soy un hijo de Dios. Él me envió aquí, me ha dado un hogar y padres buenos para mí. 
Que Él me enseñe, enséñame la senda a seguir, para que algún día yo con Él pueda vivir. All right. Y'all, I will leave you with that. The song is I Am a Child of God. It's a beautiful song that we sing in my church. And uh, anyway, thanks for joining. We will, Let's do this again. Yeah? I, I can't figure out. I can't even look at some of the stuff. It's like my phone's slightly frozen. But uh, we will uh, talk later. Stay safe. Stay home. <laughs> as we go through all this. And look out for one another. Look out for our brother. Brother, let me be your shelter. Never leave you all alone. I can be the one you call when you go home. home. Bring you home. Anyway. All right. All right. I will see you all later. Hasta luego. Ciao.